It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to the first ever international career mode on the channel. Guys, this year we are leading England into the 2022 World Cup. Euro 2020 slash 2021 has just kicked off in real life. Last night I watched the game between Italy and Turkey. A 3-0 win for Italy. Today we're going to start our journey with England. So you're probably interested in the squad. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Before I do that, I want to show you the standings. So this is our group, guys. Our group is Group G. We have Greece, Australia, and the Ivory Coast. A group I think we should definitely be getting out of. But in international football, there is no room for error. Do you want to see our squad? Of course you do. Let me show you. So this is a carry-on series from the Newcastle United career mode. So we have players there that we're going to be bringing across. And this is your team. Jack Grealish on the left. Harry Kane up front. And Jadon Sancho on the right. In midfield, Harley Parr. Partners Phil Foden and Jordan Henderson. At the back, we have Chilwell. Joe Gomez, John Stones, and Trent Cafu. Trent Alexander-Arnold with Henderson in goal. A strong bench, Pope, Mings, Shaw, Rice, Mason Mount, Rashford, and another one of our Newcastle boys, Adam Armstrong, double A. The reserves as well, we've got Freddie Woodman, another guy from our Newcastle career. Maguire, Lamptey again, another guy from our Newcastle career. Sterling and Calvert Lewin. I wanted to keep it quite similar to the England squad we're going to see in this year's Euros, but with some of our own additions. Harley Parr is in the mix for England. Guys, it's coming home and we're going to start it off. There's nothing else to talk about. There's more gameplay to come. The first bit is the first group game against Australia. Here we go then, lads. World Cup time. Phil Foden. Gaza 2.0. We're taking Australia on today. A game we'd be fully expected to win. No chances. No time for mistakes. We do not get any other chances than today. We need to start our World Cup campaign with a massive win. A World Cup campaign is massive. This is England. This is the World Cup. Let's go, guys. Lead your team to glory. This feels so good, man. Joe Gomez, then. Come on, boys. We've got some quality players here. Into Foden. Onto Kane. Laid it into the path of Harley Parr. Jaden Sancho already in behind. Swing that one across. Phil Foden headed away. Wow. Man, our players are like literally 87, 88, 89, 90 rated. It's amazing. They feel incredible already. Henderson on the corner. Swings it in. Chilwell's there! And look at that for a start. Six minutes in and England have a World Cup goal. Chilwell with it. Our left wing back. Rose highest in the box, flicked it to the back stick, and it ends up in the back of the net. The World Cup is coming home. Get in there, lad. Brilliant header from Chilwell. Legendary status already. 1 0. McGree into Goodwin. Back to McGree, up towards McLaren. Loose ball. Stones picks that one out to Henderson. Let's move through the gears quickly. Harley Parr with a ping over the top towards Jack Grealish. Still with Grealish now. Tucks it back. No, it comes back to him. Shot blocked. Oh, it's a chance. It's a chance that we haven't taken. Should be two, guys. McGree into McLaren. Back to McGree. Some good stuff here from Australia. I'm not going to lie. Back to Dengrick. To Bacchus. Up to McGree. Oh, my God. Yes, well done, Stones. Well done, lad. Don't give up on it, son. Oh, my God. No! That is England. That is England. That is 
England, isn't it? 21 minutes gone then in the first game of the World Cup. And Australia. Australia. No offence to Australian fans. But they have pulled level with England. Poor defending. I don't know how that's happened. But Royally McGree has a goal. And in the World Cup opening game, it's England 1, Australia 1. Gomez, come on boys, I don't want to be level for long. Foden now, in the gap towards Harry Kane. Waiting for a run from Holly Parr. Go on, go on Parr! Holly Parr returns to the channel! Holly Parr scores for England! It's coming home again! 2-1! Number 14 on his back for England! Holly Pa gets his goal! Yes, son! Come on! The World Cup has officially been stamped with a Harley Pa trademark. Get in! 2 1. Half an hour played. Sainsbury up to Bacchus now. Aaron Moy, definitely their best player. We've got to keep a close eye on him. Sainsbury to Bacchus. They're not playing bad, you know. They're not playing bad, Australia. Bacchus now. Back to Dejnik. I do think we should be able to overcome them, though. The longer the game goes on, the more our quality should show through. I am worried about our back four, though. Looks a bit erratic at the minute. We need to get it a bit more together. Okay, the referee has decided not to give that as a foul, which is a shock. Ball up towards Sancho, given away. Approaching half-time, lads. What, 41 minutes now played. Henderson to Kane. Slide ball there to Jaden Sancho, who's got bags of pace. Sancho across to the back stick, maybe Foden! Goes sliding in, doesn't get there. But still with Sancho, and I don't know what the hell he's decided to do there. Because he's given it straight to Australia! Now here comes Goodwin for Australia. Into McGree now. Up towards McLaren to Bacchus. Wow, they were on the counter and the referee called it. We got away with that, I think. We definitely got away with that. The England fans are happy, though. We're 2-1 up. Come out in the second half. Put on a bit more of a display. Get a couple more goals. And lay a marker. This year, this time, it's going nowhere but home. Come on, boys. Aaron Moy. Oh, dear. Ooh, well done, Joe Gomez. Read that. They were almost in behind there straight on the second half. Harry Kane now drops a bit deeper. Harley Parr gets it just about towards Jaden Sancho. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Look at all that pace, man. Look at all that pace. Pulls it back across. Grealish! Blocked! Henderson! Blocked! Good move. Good play. Very unlucky to not go 3-1 up in today's opener. Oh, dear me. Don't. Don't! We do. Of course we do. Of course Australia have scored twice against England in the World Cup. It just was going to happen, wasn't it? How, boys? John Stones has just gone into no man's land. I have no idea what he's doing. Unreal. Riley McGree again. It's 2-2. Two, two. How, boys? Trent Cafu into Sancho. Come on, Trent. In towards... Oh, my God. The passing. Lucky that Henderson got to that, really. Grealish now. No, oh, frick. Don't do this to me, boys. Can't be drawing our opening group game. That would be an absolute shocker. Bacchus pings it over. And out of play. Come on. 63 minutes gone. I'm going to make some changes, lads. I'm going to definitely make some changes. Harry Kane really hasn't got into the game. So, shock or horror. Armstrong on. And I'm going to bring on Mason Mount. Phil, Phil Foden. Two changes then. 63 minutes gone. 
2-2. We haven't lacked invention, but we have definitely lacked defensive ability. Can we turn that around? Two changes, hopefully, to get us the win. No. For real! No. He can't get a World Cup hat trick. No! How? Why? What the hell? Nah, this... John Stones is shit, bro. Nah, allow it, man. I can't deal with it. Nah, John Stones. Nah, 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 nah. He's not playing the next game. No way. He just keep, constantly moves out of position. What a moron. 3-2 to Australia. 70 minutes played, lads, and it's 3-2 to Australia. Saying that. Cafu. Trent Cafu. Get a good ball across. Sancho! Oh! It's not a bad effort. It's not a bad effort at all. He's gone for it. He's gone for a curling header if you've ever seen it. And he nearly found the back of the net. That's a chance. 72 minutes played. We've got to at least get a draw. Grealish. Into Armstrong. Through ball to Mason Mount. Back stick. I can see Harley Park. Can he get to that ball? What? What? Ha! Oh, my. I'm, I'm lost for words. Absolutely lost for words. That is a joke, isn't it? And McGree comes off, the man who's got two today. We're going to make a final change, as if Harley Parr's missed that. I cannot believe it. Rashford on then, Grealish off. That is a joke. It's literally a tap-in, and I've missed it. Unreal. Rashford on, can he make any kind of impact? Guys, this would be a shock result, surely. This would be an absolute shock result if we did not get the win today. I mean, there's ten minutes left. I'd be happy with a draw at this point, because at the minute it looks like Australia are going to come away with all three points. What a terrible start to the tournament, saying that. Hendo's just won it. Through ball. Oh, lots of space. Come on, AA. Come on, AA. AA! Get in! Get himself an England goal on his return to the career mode. On his return to the channel. AA9! Bags himself an England goal in the World Cup. 3-3. Three, three. Is there time now for a dramatic winner? Australia fans, heartbroken. They thought they was on their way to three historic points. At the minute, they're only on their way to one. And we have six minutes to get the winner. Aaron Moy now. They're going to try and hold him to the ball as much as they can, I think, at this point. Try and get the draw. That's what they're going to go for, Australia. But we want to go and try and hunt the win. If we can get the win, I would love it. Because this has not been the best opener. But sometimes in the World Cup, your opening game is your worst game. And this has probably been the worst game you're going to see me play with this England team. The back four will definitely be changed for the next one. Gomez, well played. Oh my god, Sancho. Sancho. Sancho! Please, Sancho! Sancho! In the 92nd minute, number seven, Jaden Sancho. Mwah! Oh, yes, lads. England have done it the hard way, but they've done it. Four, three. Get in there. Massive performance. Brilliant win. This is what it's all about. This is the World Cup. This is is England. We've come back. Not a good display, but we're 4-3 up. It's all about points in the World Cup. No matter how you get them, no matter how you get out the groups, as long as you do. Three points. A 4-3 thriller. Not how I expected it. I expected to absolutely clabber them. I thought it'd be a 4-0, but a 4-3 it is. That could be... A massive result. That could be what pushes us on to a World Cup. The first one 
since 1966. Lads, oh wow, we got away with one. We really did. We really got away with one there. That was massive to come back and get a 4 3 win. We'll forget about conceding three. We'll just remember that we had the energy, the composure, and the fight to come back. However, we've got to do some changes. That back four just didn't mesh at all, did it? It just didn't look right. Stones will come out. I'm going to bring on Maguire. Um, other than that, I don't really want to change too much, to be honest with you. I think Mount might start. Uh, Sancho has to start. I think AA will start instead of Kane, actually. That's the only two changes we'll make. So Armstrong in for Kane, and Maguire will come in as well for Stones because he was all over the place. Two changes. The next game, then, in your second group game in the World Cup will be against the Ivory Coast. You can see they drew their opener against Greece. So they will be looking for three points. Let's do this then guys, back in the sunshine, this time in our all blue strip. The fans of the Ivory Coast are here to see their team. And do you know what, they've got a decent team. They've got Jeremy Bogger, they've got Pepe, they've got Haller. They've got some very, very good footballers in their side. But we definitely have the stronger of the two. We said that against Australia though, and we nearly slipped up. We can't do the same today, let's do it. I just realised, guys, the pitch has got, like, NFL markings on it. I don't know if that's, like, a glitch or if that's by design. It's pretty cool, but it looks really weird. Chilwell to Gomez. <sighs> Bit risky there. Jordan Henderson up towards Harley Parr. He's had a good start to his World Cup. Harley Parr, late on the plate. Henderson, why not? Shot! I get your for Armstrong! Huge chance inside six minutes for Armstrong. He fluffed his lines. Oh, he fluffed his lines. Foden. Into Harley Park. Up to Armstrong. One, two, maybe. Oh, I love it. Pa! The Newcastle boys are here! Newcastle are sending England at the minute into raptures. Pa! Into Armstrong. Back to Pa! And he scores... He's second of the tournament. I'd have been happy to get him one goal tournament. He's now got two. If you don't know who Harley Parr is, go back and watch the Newcastle United career mode. Youth Academy player. I believe he was, what, 60-something rated? We built him up. I think he's an 86 rated now. And he's an absolute gem. Foden. We feel a little bit more in control of this game. Up to Armstrong. They're definitely leaving more gaps than what happened in the Australia game. Sly ball. Sancho's got the run on him. And Sancho scores. Ivory Coast are napping at the back. Sancho, you say. Sancho, we do. 2 0. He's having a very good tournament as well. Harley Paul with the assist, who's been the standout. Ivory Coast. Not awake, it seems. We have taken a 2-0 lead inside 20 minutes. This is a much better start than the last game. 2-0. Let's keep a clean sheet today. That's what I'm looking for. Stongare. Is that the guy who plays for Newcastle as well that I never played? Gabamin up to Haller now. To Kessie, Gabamin, decent play from Ivory Coast, now they're 2-0 down, looks like they may wake up, Gabamin, well done Gomez, the standouts, the standout centre-back that we've had so far this tournament, Sancho, high ball up, to Cafu, Alexander-Arnold, off he goes, on a run, can he find a man, pulls it back, oh, Armstrong couldn't collect it in his path, big chance there, goes, missing, and here comes Nicola Pepe to Haller. Back to Pepe. Chilwell given away. Much better positioning from Maguire. He is definitely stronger than Stones. No, Phil. No. No, Phil. Phil! Was that Phil? I'm saying Phil a lot. But was it, or is it Jordan Henderson? I can't, that's Phil Foden. Oh, Phil Foden, bro, come on. You're supposed to be Gazza out here. 
You're supposed to be Gaza. Not Southgate. Jeez, he's giving it away. Massive error. Sebastian Haller scores his first goal of this World Cup. And now it is 2-1. And the game is back on. Gab him in. Don't. Don't even test me, FIFA. Boga now. One-on-one -on -one with Cafu. And Cafu, Alexander-Arnold, does brilliantly well. Ivory Coast, though, sensing they could find themselves back in this game if they keep going. Boga to Gabamin. He's got too much space. Hala scores again. It's 2-2. Two -two. We're not good enough defensively. Not by any stretch. That is poor. That is really, really poor. 2-0 to 2-2. Two -two. This defence is worrying me now. This defence is all over the shop. 41 minutes played, and it's 2-2. OK, guys, about to kick off here then in the second half at 2-2. I want to make a change, an early change. I think to the formation, I'm not going to lie for this game. I think we need to go with two sitting, and we're going to have to sacrifice. I think it's going to have to be Foden. I'm going to bring on Declan Rice to partner Henderson. That back four needs a protective shield. Hopefully, that's the shield it needs. I'm going to put Grealish into cam and par out wide. Half time, the second half. It's 2-2. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, this formation works a bit better. Declan Rice again. Into Henderson. Okay, this might actually work a lot better. Slide ball to Sancho. Has all the pace in the world. Sancho, good turn. Sancho, shot blocked. Okay, we've got a bit more of a platform now in that midfield. Yes, we've had to lose a threat in Phil Foden, but we look a little more solid. Why did I say that? That's why Gomez mops it up. Songare to Hala. Into Gabamin now. No way. No. Oh, well done, Hendo. Well done, Hendo. Alexander-Arnold now into Armstrong. Touch into Grealish. Good first touch from Grealish. Slide ball from Grealish to Harley Parr. Harley Parr across. Armstrong! 3-2! This is his tournament. Harry Kane is no longer the starting striker. It is AA number nine, Adam Armstrong. Our pride, our passion... Ow! England, three goals to two. Great bit of play between Parr and Grealish. And boom, the finisher, that man. Two World Cup goals for him. And we are now 3-2 up. Kessie, out to Pepe now. Aurier to Kessie. Eric Bailly. Kessie, they've got a decent side, man. When you see the players' names popping up, Haller, Sangari. Sebastian Haller's been very good today. He's on for a hat trick as well. Back to Wilfred. Is that Bolly? Wilfred Bolly. I didn't know. Didn't know that he's from the Ivory Coast. Decent. Kessie, Gabamin. Where's Zaha? No Wilfred Zaha. I'm noticing. Gabamin now. Haller. I can't get a touch of the ball at the minute. Kessie to Pepe. Oh my god. Halla. Well done, Harry Maguire. Thank God. Pa, let's counter-attack. Let's get a fourth. Let's just shut them up. In towards Grealish. Oh, go on, Armstrong. Make a run. I'm going to play it out there towards Harley Pa. Harley Pa. Harley Pa. Pull it back. No! Come on, England! Pepe. 78 minutes gone. We're going to be looking to make a double change when the ball goes off next. Kessie. Gabam in. Too much space for him in the midfield. Why is there so much space in the midfield, even though I put two, two defensive midfielders in? Bolly. Oh, he's giving it away. Oh, my God. Grealish, stay on side. Is he on side? Is he on side? Grealish. Grealish. No, he's offside. Ah! Seriously, bro. Just hold your run. No, it's not good enough. Two changes, Grealish being one of them. He's off for Mason Mount. And on comes as well Marcus Rashford. And I think that was Wilfred Zaha. On, on for Haller. It's 
stats are. Yep, here he is. A skillful man on ultimate difficulty. Competitor mode on. This is where he rips me apart. Zaha on the ball. Oh dear. Oh dear. Boga! Heartbreak. Absolute heartbreak. Wilfred Zaha comes on, instantly creates so much space with his skills, and they have got it level, haven't they? Ah, oh, dear me. 3-3. Three, three. We've conceded way too many in our opening two games. Way too many. Not happy at all with that. Not happy. I've got to find a way to be a better defensive structure, because at the minute, we are way too open, and Jeremy Bogar... In the 88th minute, makes it three each. 89th minute, Mason Mount. Can we get anything late on? Sancho. You can see a run in the box from Rashford. Can't quite get it to him. Eric Bailly's Man United teammate picks it out. And that is that. The cheers you can hear are from the Ivory Coast fans. That's a massive result for them. Another point in this year's World Cup. Two points dropped from England today. It's a win and a draw in this World Cup. Not what I expected. Let's see where that leaves us. Okay then, guys. This is Group G. After the two games played, one game to go. That is against bottom side Greece, who could still actually qualify. Anyone in this group could still qualify. We are on four points, Australia on three, Ivory Coast on two, and Greece on one. That's crazy that any team in this group could still get through in the World Cup. We could drop out. It's that simple. It is literally that simple. Our goal difference is only one. I'd expect us to be doing a lot better. Seven goals scored, which is amazing, but six conceded is shocking. Let's have a little catch-up, shall we, on the other groups. So Portugal storming away with it. It looks nine points out of nine in Group A, uh, as well as that. Mexico and France. Okay, so France have had two draws. They're at risk. Uruguay look like they are out and crashing out with zero points. Group C, Spain lead the way, as you'd expect. Italy in second, Argentina on top. So it's a very strong group. Denmark mm, are going to miss out. Uh, you've got Netherlands top of that group. Egypt are going to miss out, so no Mohamed Salah in the next round. Uh, Germany, of course, dominating Group F. We know Group G is us. And Group H, Brazil and Belgium smashing it. Six points each so far in that one. Guys, today's episode is a wrap. You've got the two opening games. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have and you want to see the next episode, which will be... It will basically see if we're through to the next round or not. If we offer it to the next round, then you'll get the next round as well. We'll have to wait and see. If you want to see the next episode extra fast, make sure you watch the whole video. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and support England. Remember, it's coming home. Until next time, guys. Peace.